Hello friends of terrain building and welcome to another Middle Earth terrain building tutorial. Today I want to show you how I built my overall beginner friendly Fungorn terrain. Which simple techniques and items and products I have used. Partly it is important to use the right products for your project. And I got a friendly support from the German store Würfelkrieger. For that, at this point, a big thanks. I will simply show you what I have done, how you can also partially integrate original models into the terrain, how I built an end myself, or how you can coordinate it in principle so that you can continue to play original models and also use them as terrain and there is no confusion that you think that these models are in the game. I want to show you all these things today. Enjoy the video. Let's start the video with the most iconic characters that exist in Fangorn. And those are the ends. I want to put 3D printed models on the plate as well as currently painted original models, where I will soon be designing the bases. There are many different options for ends here. However, I still want to show you the least expensive option and try my hand at building an end myself. Hopefully, the second attempt will be more successful than the first. As you can see here, I have already prepared different pieces of branches. Here, I just looked at different pieces and thought about whether I could make something with them. With some, I saw them from branch forks, a hip, with the other with a huge nose, a good upper body. The, I then already prepared corresponding cuts and notches, which I didn't want to show you in front of the camera because the saw is in a different place. And I also want to focus more on the saw instead of the camera. And at these gluing points, you always have some little edges that don't look quite nice, but you can cover them very well with trees, simply with green stuff like bushes. I also cut the legs and the arms. How I glue the whole thing together, I will show you in time lapse. This is the end at this point. You have seen a lot, of, a lot of the steps. For the hands, I took hands of an end that were still lying around as bits at my place. You can just take thin branches and glue them on. You'll see another example of that at the end. I tried to match the same color tone of the wood when painting. Didn't succeed perfectly, of course, but satisfactory for me. I have now pasted some green bushes on the end. Maybe there will be more to it. I'm still thinking about that. I also modeled a face. I am not an expert or professional with green stuff. Still, I think the result is pretty sweet, but of course you can't compare the details to store-bought or printed models. 
but you don't have to. This is about terrain and not miniatures. I'm going to glue some printed tree stumps on the bases to represent the deforested part of Fangorn. I want to place the ends primarily on one side of the table so that there are still trees on the side of the terrain and many tree stumps on the other side. In the time lapse, I will also show you the normal miniature bases. I'll explain a bit more about how I want to integrate these for the terrain in a moment so that you don't confuse them with models in the other's person's list. Of course, it's easier to tell with the self-built one. After painting the bases, I will then glue a self-mixed litter on it, which consists of different colored flocks. This is one scattered brown and one green. Of course, with larger parts in brown so that it gets an earthy touch. But now I'll show you first how I want to integrate the ends with normal round bases on the plate. For the terrain, as I just mentioned, I also want to use a few original end models and they are always on flat bases as they are with me, which is very convenient here. If the minis would just stand so flat on the plate, it would be easier to confuse them with normal miniatures. Therefore, I want to put them on mishappen bases. Of course, this creates an unsightly transition between the two bases. So I cut out a small layer of XPS foam from which I cut out a circle exactly big enough to put the ends seamlessly into this hole and without any edge. I will now show you this in time lapse. You have already seen the construction of the ends, but before the ends move to Isengard, the ending has to take place. That's why I cut a base the size of a Mumak base. I want to glue a stone circle on it. The stones I just gathered outside, if they have a lot of corners and edges, it's quite good. So that the stones in miniature look a bit more exciting. I glue them on right away with the hot glue gun, then comes the forest litter and finally comes more details on the floor, different tufts, smaller stones, some branches to create a varied forest ground in the end. You will see a few short time lapses.
So after the base is already designed with the forest floor, it should get a bit more variance on it. I would like to make the bases a little more exciting so that you also like to look at them. And for this, I have these following products. Here you can see the items that I got sponsored by the Würfelkrieger. All this I have chosen because I find the articles of Gamers Grass simply very good. And they also have a large range of different products that complement each other in the total totality well. In the store of the Würfelkrieger, there are definitely many different items. In general, there are many tabletop systems, a lot of crafting materials, board and card games, and much, much more. I link you the store in the video description down below and also each individual article again separately. Here I have chosen a nice range of different tufts and moss, which I have different lengths and also different grass colors. I personally just really like it when there is a nice variance between the grass tufts and especially all the moss items are great for adding variety to some spots again. I'm generally just going to alternate the tufts and stick them on the bases without any system, alongside some stones and branches. I like the result of this process and have glued similar bases to this way on other terrain projects. I also ordered these two liquids from, from AK Interactive which I haven't worked with yet, but I really like them. You can use them to represent moss on surfaces as well. And the translucent one is for letting the painted edges bleed out a little more smoothly. As I said, all the links to the products are in the video description. In addition, there is also a code with it with, with which you can save a few euros on the purchase. Next, you will first see a few time lapses in that I glue the items on the bases. So you get an impression, but I'd rather show you the, the results of them more intense because the gluing process is probably not that exciting. to build a terrain piece that is also symbolic of the relevant development of Fangorn. This should be the funeral pyre of which Rohirrim lit with all the fallen after the battle in which Merry and Pippin escaped. And to build the mount for it, I'll take a three centimeter thick XPS foam plate. From this, I will simply cut out a small shape which will be flattened. Later, I will glue warrior models on it, which I have from figures that have already been slightly cannibalized. You will see this again in time lapse.
First, I want to show you how the moss looks like in the end, and I am very satisfied. The liquid moss creates a light and soft result. The effect is very subtle for me with just one layer, but I really like it that way. Anyway, I take the tufts of gamers grass very often because I like their appearance and they work well on bases and on terrain. In addition, with a few small branches and stones, the result looks, looks really nice in the end and looks very much like a forest. If you like the, the items too, feel free to check out the links in the video description, support the Würfelkrieger. They are very sympathetic and dear people who have friendly supported me. I would be happy if you also buy something from them and so also support the companies that support me. You can now see the finished terrain and then the video is finished.